Diane insisted that we spend a weekend at the Adonis. And already I find myself seeking a respite from my vacation. And she deems it necessary to chide me for working. The words dissolve into an endless animal bleat. I found it rapture to be free of law and God. To live among those for whom work is our wage. Yet, when Diane speaks of bearing my child, I am given pause. Until now, I have never considered my legacy. Perhaps, perhaps after the new year. I'm told that the people grow tense and isolated in the absence of the sun. Now they clamor for a psychiatrist. Do they miss the state censor, I wonder? Wartime seizure of private assets? Or the Cheka police vanishing them in the night? Regardless, this lamb woman is said to be the foremost practitioner in her field. Fine. If she can quiet the rattling of the Great Chain's weakest links, I will leave her to it. Lamb is becoming woman is a damned collectivist here in Rapture. How could the council fail to see it? Worse, to hide her intent, she gulls these patients of hers into a religious frenzy. A new Kremlin will rise and swallow the council house before they realize they've been had. I will not have my city swallowed by the parasite. Never its guys. It is time I know this facility is vital to the preservation of secrecy and rapture, but seeing myself transformed into that lurching, waxen nightmare, do children truly respond to this? Still, I spoke to a young man exiting the park after the grand opening, asking him what, if anything, he had learned. He said his chores didn't seem so bad anymore. As long as mother wouldn't send him to the surface. Sinclair, I don't care how you accomplish Lamb's removal from the public eye. Indeed, I'd rather cease contact with you altogether. But allow me to make this plain. I don't want to see Lamb on the streets again, peddling her Bolshevik fever dreams to my people. Bury her memory, Sinclair. Bury it and salt the earth. This facility belongs to the city now, to Ryan Industries, at least until the rioting subsides. While it is unfortunate that such measures had to be taken, I must admit, it is gratifying to see this building condemned. Fontaine is gone, Lamb is gone, or close enough. I am alone at last, alone with my city. Visited Eve's garden today. Living poorly. My seed sold to the enemy. The motive of the whore is yet eludes me. But Atlas approaches. And come what may, I will not be made a slave. I wonder, in recording, do I confess? Just now. Sinclair saw me in the corridor, perhaps reading my face. The bastard looked me right in the eye and suggested I make an appointment with Dr. Lamb. 